friendos and welcome back to my channel. Can you guys believe it? I have right now in my hands the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. Isn't she gorgeous? Hey, that's pretty good. And my guys, I tend not to get religious on my channel, but I have to tell you, I truly believe that the angels were flying alongside the mailman as he came into my yard and delivered this to my doorstep because I never get my palettes this quick from Sephora. So today I'm extremely excited for this. I can't wait to review it for you guys. We're gonna do a look, we're gonna do swatches. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the quality here at the end. So if you are not subscribed already, but you are into Natasha Denona, Please do me a big favor, go ahead, hit subscribe, hit like, and friendos, just stay tuned. So my guys, I know I've given companies flack this year for being very, very safe when it comes to their color stories. And yes, this is a neutral palette, but I am being entirely genuine when I tell you guys, I believe this is the most beautiful neutral color story I have ever seen. Now in studio, I usually have my lovely sister, but she is missing from the studio today. So we're gonna save the swatches till the end. I'm hoping she can come in and be my arm model there for me at the end. We shall see. Let's go ahead, let's dive into this palette. Let's see what we can create. So my guys, darkest shades first today. We're gonna go in with Silhouette. It is a dark chocolate matte. And this one is gonna be very smoked out. I had a vision when I saw this palette, so. I'm so ready to bring it to life. I love a dark brown matte like this where it's almost black, but not quite. Because let's be real, we all have a dark black matte shadow in almost every palette. So sometimes it's good to deviate from the norm and dive into a dark brown instead of just the regular old black. So as I'm putting this on, I'm noticing that this is blending out very nicely. It's opaque, it's pigmented. This is the type of matte that makes people gravitate towards these expensive Natasha Denona palettes. Now this palette right here is considered to be a midi palette. So that means that you get a little bit smaller of a price tag. This one is $69. Now my guys, I'm gonna go in with Vague and this one, I'm not really sure what shade this is. I'm gonna do a quick swatch here. This is sort of a pinky tan color. Okay, same brush. And the trade-off with these midi size palettes is that the pan sizes are smaller than what you see in her regular size palettes that go for over $100. But that's a trade I'll happily make any day. And this look is coming along nicely. I have nothing bad to say about the two shades that I've tried so far. Now guys, I've been using the same brush this entire time. I'm gonna go in with Wit, and that's this corner shade right here. This is sort of a peachy pink tawny shade. And this one does not disappoint either, my guys. I am so impressed by how nice these mattes have been. I can't get over how quiet it is today in the studio. If you've been here for my other videos, you know how it goes. Now guys, with a detail brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Mesh. And this one is, <laughs> it's so hard to describe these. They're all brown. <laughs> but this one is one of the lighter matte shades. I would describe this as just a regular beige. Taking this all the way under my eye, doing a little connecting action. And guys, if you thought this might be a cut crease look, well then you are correct. And while I do the surgical maneuver, I will be headed to Sephora to get the relevant information that you came here for on this palette. This is a must have cool tone palette with 15 new nude shades in Natasha's iconic matte metallic sparkling foiled and brand new wet effect formula. If this doesn't have me anxious for the swatches, I don't know what does. What else you need to know? This is an enchanting nude stone feel color story designed to suit all skin tones and occasions from everyday elegance to shimmering dramatic or bridal glam eye looks. It features a brand new wet effect formula and two glistening finishes, glossy and sparkling for an effortless touch of dazzling magic. This palette is set in a sleek 3D plexiglass case inspired by minimalistic architecture. Natasha's mattes and metallics are highly pigmented, buttery smooth, and blend effortlessly. And her sparkling foiled formula provides a majestic, luminous sparkle to every look. All right, my guys, crease is cut. Let's see what's what. Let's dive into Mia. Now this is so pretty. It's sort of a lavender pink, very light, very frosty, glittery shadow. So some of y'all already know the drill. I'm going to try this on dry and then I'm going to try this on wet. So this is dry. 
It looks pretty and sparkly. It reminds me a lot of the shadows in the latest makeup by Mario palette. If you have that palette, then you know what I mean, where it's almost a wet look shadow. I wonder if this is the wet shadow that she was referencing. Now that I have it on there, I'm going to spray my brush. I use Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray almost every time, you guys. And it is coming to life. And now, my guys, she is living her best. So beautiful. I can't just do one shimmer when we have all these gorgeous ones to choose from. So I'm also going to dive into Delilah. And this one has a lot of different color reflex. I see some pink in there. I see a little bit of blue, some silver, and it's all within a very taupe base. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Like This to me is sort of like a beachy glam look. Okay, so let's try it with some spray now. Friendos. I can't believe this. This is so pretty. I hope that this translates on camera the way it looks in real life. It's stunning. Okay, now I'm going to match up the other side. And I can't help myself. I have to dive into one more shimmer and then we'll finish out this look. So Muse is the shade that I'm choosing. It looks like a sparkling frosty mauve. It is very creamy. Oh wow, this is without spray, you guys. Are you shocked? I am shocked. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this just in case because I don't want any fallout. I really don't see any so far. That's kind of surprising. And now I believe it is time for some liner and lashes. Oh my guys, what do we think? Wow. I feel stunning. I have to tell you, this eyeshadow, I'm impressed. This eyeshadow is so impressive. Now, Natasha does call this a cool tone palette, and I would say overall it is rather cool toned. However, I do see a lot of neutrals in the palette too. If you're afraid of a pure cool tone palette, you don't really need to be scared of this one. You will find some nice neutral shades to pair with those cool tones. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off the look today with Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil. This is a shade Travis. I haven't used this in a while on my channel because I had to hide it because I was using it so much. This is my favorite shade. And I really wanted to finish this off with a red look. So in the shade Dragon Girl and the NARS Power Matte formula. And I felt like I needed a little bit of bronzing up since this is so bold. So I'm going in with my Hourglass Bronzer. This is Radiant Bronze Light. I have this in a travel size case. This is just what was closest to me, so. That's the look, my guys. Let's talk about my final thoughts on this palette. I think it's beautiful. I think it performed wonderfully. I think if you are looking for a neutral slash cool tone palette that's very elegant, that's very classy, that performs like a dream, this is going to be your girl if you don't mind spending the $69. And my closest palette in comparison would be the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes palette. So I think if you already have that one, you don't necessarily need this one. Although this one gives you a little bit more deviation and color range. And guys, let me know if you would like to see additional looks. Right now, we're just gonna splice in those swatches. Let me know what you think of them. fantastic time hanging out with all of you today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up if you had a good time, if you felt like you were able to glean some very relevant information, or if you just pity me. I'll take any help I can get. Again, if you would like to see more looks with this palette, please don't hesitate. Let me know what you think about this palette in the comment section, and let me know if you are planning to pick it up for yourself. I must know, bid you all adieu. Please subscribe if you have not done so already, because if not, We'll both have to live in a sorrow never knowing what could have been. All right, guys, have a fabulous day. Bye.